In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pop-ups for Divi plugin. So I'm going to start by adding one to this page here, since I noticed that if we click on this button, the image pops up in a, in a new tab when I just want it to pop up in a light box. So we're going to start by enabling the visual builder. And now there's going to be a new module that we can add. I would recommend adding it to the very bottom of the page as to not interrupt any of the flow of the rest of the page. So I'm going to add a new section at the bottom, a regular section, and I'm going to make it just a, a one square, a re one row column and add the image. This is what's going to display in the pop up itself. So let's see, we got May, December 4th. Was May? Was that the last one? Let me actually, I'm going to grab the link from up here because I think that's the right one here. Okay, so I'm grabbing that image link and I'm going to put it back in our new section here. There we go. Insert into post. Okay, I want this to be aligned in the center, but now we have to turn it into a pop up. So you're going to jump into these section settings, and there's a new field called pop up, and then you would select this is a pop up. For the pop up ID, we're going to name this comparison. So you'll see now, once I put comparison in here, you see that there now has a this weird uh, background here that kind of shows you that this is what the pop-ups gonna look like. So I do want to shrink it down a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the design sizing, and I'm gonna make the max width say 700 pixels. Boom. There we go. Okay. Now we have to remember that this is now the trigger. When we typed in this pop-up ID box as comparison is what we're going to have to link it to in the button. Now there are a few other options that we can enable. So like we can add an exit intent pop up. So if someone goes to scroll off the page, a pop up would show and this we're not going to do that with this one. But that's, uh, that's always a good option. The close button settings modifies the little x that shows up in the corner here. And then it'll add a default shadow and a loader if you'd like, we'll just leave those uh, settings default. Now, once we have this link here, we're going to scroll all the way back up to the button and we're going to change the link from the image to comparison, but we have to make sure to put the pound sign before it and that will trigger the pop up once we save the page. So now I'm going to click save. Wait for that to load. Exit the visual builder. And now if I scroll down at the bottom, you'll see the section is hidden. It's not there. But if I click on the button at the top, boom, there we go. And the little X closes it. So that way they don't have to leave the page as it opens in a new window. Now I'm also going to show you how to modify the product pop up for the individual product pages because this one has a little bit of a custom layout. And I don't want you to get too confused with how it's done. So if you want to remove any of the options, you just scroll down to where the one that says order pop, and this will be at the bottom of all of the product pages that have the pop up here with the order now buttons. So you can change the image, it's just an image model you, module, you can change the text by clicking in there or editing it in the settings. I have it, you know, the top part is set as strong. So you can just type in here, switch the bottom text there. You could change the pricing. I would recommend doing it within the settings window. So that way you can keep the CSS settings for like the strike through text here. And this just displays the regular text. And then the order buttons are the same as how they were previously. They are add to cart links with the product ID at the end. Now, if you want to remove any of them, there is two columns or yeah, two, well, two rows that you need to be aware of. There's the row that contains the product and a row below it that holds the divider. So if you want to remove, say, the bottom product, you can delete this one. And then I would say delete that divider. 
Now, if you want to add a section, I would recommend duplicating the divider and then moving it below it and then duplicating the product and moving it below there and then adding in the product details, including, you know, the image, the name, price and the add to product link. Once you're satisfied with the changes, of course, click save. And that will modify the pop up for the individual product pages. Let me know if you have any questions. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but I know that sometimes we can run into some issues. So let me know.